Hello there. Now this is the tour of the town. Pewter City is the name of the town. And uh, here's a fat guy. Say hello fat guy. Hello fat guy. Um, Poke Center right there. Poke Mart right here. Stray Salesman right out here. And this guy's going to take you to the museum. Pay fifty dollars to get in. You can go in if you want to. I don't want to though. You don't really. Nothing important happens in this place, so I'm not gonna go in that. Anyways, now we've done a very, very, very relaxed tour. This is the gym. This is uh, Brock, he's a rock type gym leader. Oh yeah, by the way, I caught, Sp I caught a Pikachu and I named him Sparky. He's level 6 now. Met him at level 3. And Charmander learned Metal Claw. Which is the reason I'm using him. Because Metal Claw is, a is very effective against rock types. And that is how you beat the first person in the Pewter City Gym. I'm, an, I'm actually an avid fan of Sand Slash, or Sand Dream you know, like. His sand attack is... Oh, God. Get too many sand attacks up and you can't even hit him. I should have used PG, PG in hindsight. Because they... Um, because, um, PG has the uh, keen eye, which... This is, uh, disables it from losing speed, which is always good for you guys to know. Anyways, Brock has a Geodude level 8, I want to say, and a Onyx level 12, maybe, I think. Anyways, this is him. I recommend you save before you take him on. I haven't really been playing for two hours, but I left it on when I went to grab something to eat. Yeah. Anyways. It should be a breeze if you've got Bulbasaur or Squirtle. However, Charmander, not so much. Full 12. That means uh, Onyx must be level 14. And now I have to think what would Ash of Pokemon do? He would shove up Pikachu, but not for tactical purposes, just because he's an idiot and he can't get Pokemon to save his life. I kid you. And growl. Electric moves won't affect Onyx, however, uh, there's a slight chance that Onyx may get paralyzed when if using a physical move against Pikachu. To slow him down and actually stop him from doing some moves. Oh well. Now she can use up Radix.
and attack. And I'm just gonna be that guy who sand attacks you so many times you can't even hit him. That nasty, nasty guy. I am gonna be that guy right now. Hooray for tactical battling. I'm going to drop his accuracy to the point where he can't drop it any lower. Oh, there we go. Won't go any lower. I believe on uh, Robot has a potion, which isn't cool. However, his accuracy won't go back up, which means the chance um, of me. Oh, uh, Rock Tomb's got low accuracy anyway. So now he pretty much won't be able to hit that move. I forgot what I was saying now though. And now something. Maybe epic is better than me. I get it. Charmander should wipe the floor with uh, Onyx. I'm just causing as much damage as possible. Uh, hoping Raiders will get KO'd. Uh, because I don't want to lose Charmander. Thinking on it to the Pidgey. That would possibly be. That would possibly make me awesome. The most awesome walkthrough guide ever. Almost gone down now. Wow. You guys are probably like, this isn't really happening, is it? Well, it is really happening. I have defeated Onyx with a Pidgey. And with that, we have our first gym badge. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And see you next video. Oh yeah, by the way, he gives you option. Out of awesomeness. Uh, I really should end this at a Poké Center. <laughs> well, I hope you guys have liked and subscribed. I just beat on it through the Pidgey. Thank you and good night.